Fabulous darlings, it's Tiandra Robinson, and this morning I wanted to go live to share with you some of the things that I do to sort of boost my immune system. These are like little, I guess, hacks. So to start off, you always need to have definitely some water, but a lot of times I don't really like the taste of the water. So you drink a little bit because you need a little bit of space here <laughs> for a little bit of fizzle. And I usually like to take one of these, it's called Airborne. And I think it was invented by a teacher who is always around our kids at school when they have cold. So they need to do things like this to boost their immune system. So basically you see it has this little divot there. You just snap it in half and snap it for three parts <laughs> and then drop it inside of the bottle. It's gonna uh, change the color. It's gonna fizz a little bit. This is the other piece. Just drop it in there. I'm gonna give this some time to fizzle. So as I move on to the next hack, I'm gonna put the cap back on here and let it do its thing. Can you see that okay? So this is gonna add flavor to the water and it's gonna also add some vitamin C. It has minerals and herbs in it as well. It is sugar free, so this is good. It's high in antioxidants. It's an excellent source of zinc and selenium. I hope I pronounced that right. And it has uh, herbs in it like echinacea and ginger. It's gluten free and has 1000 mg of vitamin C. So you're getting vitamins A, C, and E from this little tablet. And if you're gonna do something like a morning walk, or if you're gonna be doing some cleaning before work, or I don't know, <laughs> some exercise, this is good to sip on. So you see now it's turning pink, and now it has some flavor, so it's not as boring as just drinking water. So this is the first hack that I use in the morning to sort of boost my immune system. Okay, the next hack is kind of yummy. <laughs> and these are gummies. Can you see this? Elderberry, elderberry gummies. And this is really good. It also has vitamin C and zinc. And it's made from the elderberry fruit. It supports healthy immune systems and your metabolism. So I'm going to take two of these while we are going live. The two knows what's going to happen next. This is live and real life. So this is what they look like. I guess you can get any brand of your choice. But they're really good. And because they taste good, it's also something that you can give kids. But make sure you read the ingredients to make sure that the amounts that they put in there are safe for kids. But yeah, elderberry gummies, these are good. Okay, so the next thing that I like to do is to create a smoothie. And <laughs> I'm doing all this because with what's going around right now, we have to stay healthy. And even though there's a vaccine, I'm not on a list to get any <laughs> anytime soon. I don't know if you are or if you've been fortunate enough to uh, get it, but I don't see me or anyone in my household being able to get that vaccine. And my husband is a teacher. Go figure. I don't see us being able to get this vaccine for at least, what's this, January? For about six months or so. So we're going to do these type of things to keep ourselves healthy. So the next thing is I'm gonna create a smoothie. And it's really simple. You need bananas. And I get tired of eating bananas, so you see I can't eat them fast enough before they start going, well, I don't know if it's going bad or just what. 
but I have to put these inside of a smoothie. So you can eat a banana. One second. I'm doing this live, so I'm going to be taking stuff out of the refrigerator. As we go, you're going to need some strawberries. So, so far, two things, banana, strawberries. Oh, definitely need a little bit of honey. I would say get a better grade of honey. Um, I recommend something like this. This is uh, raw honey. But because I want to use up this little bit of honey here. I don't know. I don't know if we got this from somewhere like Big Lots or the Dollar Tree, but or Win Dipsy. I don't know. But it says it's a product of the USA and Argentina. So, but I, I normally like to use really good honey. I'll pay thirty to forty dollars for honey just so I get the good stuff. Okay, so you have those three ingredients. Next, you can use milk or yogurt. So let me see. <clears throat> you can, I guess if you're lactose intolerant, you wouldn't want to use milk. I am by no means a, a health official in any capacity. I just try to live healthy and eat healthy. So if you have allergies or uh conditions that are sensitive, don't use these products. For example, if you're allergic to bananas, don't don't use it if you're allergic to strawberries, you know. But I usually like to eat this in the morning, but sometimes I'll add it to my smoothie depending on what consistency I want the smoothie to be. So you could either use yogurt or just something like this <laughs> right out the fridge. Good old milk. <laughs> okay, we have those things. Oh, and ice cubes. Because if you want it to be sort of like a, a frosty, you add ice cubes. But if you don't want it to be like a frosty, skip the ice cubes. And I guess the main ingredient, I got this on an accident. I was trying to order arrowroot, and they sent me some beetroot powder. And then I read that this is good for your immune system. So now I have to find ways to use this. So <laughs> the quickest and healthiest way that I thought to use this would be to create smoothies for me and my family. So I'm going to use, uh, depending upon how much product you're making, it will determine how much of this you use. I'm going to be making about this much. So I'm going to use a whole tablespoon. Uh, like when I cook, I don't measure a lot of things unless I'm baking. I just say add to taste. Okay. All right. So let me take this out so you can see the beetroot powder. This is the beetroot powder that I got by accident. I was trying to order arrowroot to make some um, body butter. But this is it, the beetroot powder. Okay. So that's it. Let me go over the ingredients again. Banana, strawberries. I'm going to use about three or four of these. A tablespoon of the beetroot powder. Honey to taste. Okay. Yogurt or milk. I'm going to use milk today and I eat this separately. And a couple of ice cubes if you want it to be sort of like uh, slurpy or frosty. Okay, so let me show you how I do it. Oh, and I'm gonna use this, and I'll put the camera down so you can see, I'm gonna use this magic bullet. So I'm gonna put all my ingredients in here, put the top on and turn it upside down and grind it up so you can see how it works. All right, so let's start with, I'm gonna try to put this down so you can see it. I don't know if you can see it right there. I'm new at this video taping type stuff, so work with me. This is real time. Who knows what's going to happen? <laughs> but okay, we're going to start with the banana. <laughs> okay, so we take the banana off. I'm making this for me, me and hubby. I'll drink half and then I'll leave half for him. So you break it up. 
a little chunks. Put it inside of the, can you see that? Out of the container there. One, two, three. Put this in the trash. Now we're gonna rinse the ends. Okay, so there you go. That's one, two, three. That's the bananas. Now I'm gonna drop three. I think I'm gonna drop three or four strawberries in. I'm gonna do four strawberries. So four strawberries. Yes, these are. Just make sure when you do this that you take the green parts off. So you don't, you don't, I don't know. Maybe you could eat that. I don't know, but I don't like that part. So take off the green parts, just drop it in like so. One, pop off the green part. Two, three, and four. Like so these are like the main ingredients here. I'm gonna go ahead and get some of this milk in here so I can put this back in the refrigerator. I'm only gonna fill it up like halfway. Can you just see? Hubby's calling me. <laughs> we can't get the phone. So halfway. Sit this down. <laughs> I'll put this in the back. Okay. All right, so now what I want to do is I'm going to put in a tablespoon of this right here. And just grab a spoon. Make sure it's clean and dry. Go inside of there like this. And I would say get off get off this much. You see that? I'm trying not to make a mess. And just dump it in there. Like that. Okay. Close this back up. I have 10 minutes before I have to start work. Let me hurry up. Okay, so the back. Okay, what am I missing? I'm missing the honey. So now you just Put in however much you want. I, I like a lot of honey, so I'm counting 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. <laughs> okay. Now, this is when you could add the ice cubes if you want it to be more like a, a slushy. But um, I don't think I want it to be like a slushy today. So I'm just going to, yeah, I'll add maybe two two or three ice cubes in here. Hold on for one second, my husband's calling me. Hey. All right, I missed his call, he'll call back. Oh, here we go. Hey babe, I'm making a live video. I'm on live right now, making a live video. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Okay, let me, can you call me back in like 10 minutes? Okay, bye. <laughs> it is it's live. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> okay, so let me pick up where I left off. I'm going to put like three ice cubes in here. Last time I made this, I didn't even let it um, finish. Oh, see? I didn't even let it finish cutting up the um, ice cubes. <laughs> so make sure you let it go long enough where the ice cubes are um, crunched up. So again, we have milk, banana, strawberries, beet powder, beet root powder, honey, and ice. You can substitute the milk for 
something yummy like plain yogurt or this is the same flavor or something. Yogurt. So now, God help me. <laughs> you got to put this in with the blades down so it can crunch up everything. It does have a, a thing that says max cool, and I think I might have exceeded that. So if it's a, if there's a 